everyone and welcome to another video and today as you can see in the title uh, we are doing another pickups video uh, this is some stuff I've actually gotten currently and probably a few months ago that I haven't really shown you guys and I just kind of wanted to just show you guys before I totally forget to show you guys so here's the, here's what I got here so far uh, track and field for the, the Game Boy uh, I actually picked this up because um, well you don't really see too many Game Boy games in box anymore and also it was a throwback because me and my brother used to play track and field back in the day on Nintendo. Love that game. Uh, I, remember, I remember watching him play and he used to like get, jump in the hurdles level, doing the shooting gallery level. And the archery level was a, was a bitch, but he got through that too. And then I learned by watching him play and I got better at the game. So this is kind of just pretty much a throwback to that. Also, I got Iron Soldier. This is like a mech game, kind of like uh, if you think about Steel Battalion. Think about Steel Battalion if it was on a regular PlayStation. You could probably actually use the um, the analog controller for it. Um, uh, I think that you know the analog controller with the two sticks on the side. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. I think that's what you call that stick. But anyways, um, looking forward to playing this. If you're thinking about where part two and one, I believe they're on, they're on a Jaguar system. Ah, my buddy Evan hooked this one up. This is Mr. Nuts for the Game Boy Advance. Now this actually came out, I believe, for Super Nintendo and Genesis. Uh, but a Game Boy Advance port, that's pretty insane. So it's pretty much like a traditional uh, platform game, like on, a, like on the level of Mario Brothers, where you could like jump on your enemies and damage them like that. Uh, pretty solid game, actually. I was, I was surprised that this was on the Game Boy Advance. I was like, wow, I can't believe I didn't know about this. But uh, I don't think this is a port. I think this is actually kind of like made from the ground up for the system. But I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, Mr. Nuts on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Who would have known it, knew it existed? And next two games here are going to be um, Survival Horror, and here is Saw uh, for the PS3. Saw uh, is a survival horror game uh, that is like based off the movies. It's actually um, is canon with the movies, so it's, if you definitely want to try to check them out. A lot of people might say, oh, they're weak or whatever. No, they're actually pretty cool survival horror games. I mean, they actually put some detail. There's some sick traps in here, and I know you guys like all those weird traps, so... Definitely a lot of that stuff in here and digging through toilets and freaking trying to find needles and all that craziness is, is insane, but definitely something worth having in your collection. And yes, I am going to put the red cases on these. I just don't have any right now because all my survival horror games are in red cases. I actually got this today, actually. This is actually um, a Bioshock uh, a Premium Edition. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Premium Edition. I got this at Half Price Books, and I traded some stuff in there, and I got $16 worth of credit, so... Uh, this was 19 and then I used the birthday coupon, so this ended up being like a thing like $3 and some change, so happy to have this in the collection. Uh, I'm a big Bioshock Infinite fan. Um, uh, it's my favorite in the series, Elizabeth, and, and you know, they, they did a great job with her. I wish they would have really been able to utilize uh, what they really wanted to do with this game. You know, Elizabeth, I believe, she was, she was supposed to be able to use tears anytime she wanted, and you go to different dimensions and stuff like that, but... And all in all, they, they, they pushed them to push it out. So, you know, it came out, I think, prematurely, but it still did really well. Um, very good game. If you haven't played Bioshock Infinite, you, you stop what you're doing. Go get that game. It's seriously really good. All right. I was going to split this up in uh, two videos, but now I got, I'm happy I could do it all in one since we're moving along so fast. So, uh, recently I, I got some Game Boy games, and here is uh, the first one I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, is Blaster Master Enemy Below? Uh, the, one of the, I'm really into the Blaster Master series. My favorite Blaster Master is uh, Blasting Again uh, on the PlayStation. I love that game, and, and you know, going back to the older ones, um, I, I like those too. But they're, they're part uh, one was actually remade on the on the Switch. So um, one of the reasons I actually picked this game up was because um, I think that they're going to release a, a physical for the Switch version as it's DLC right now. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had this game before that game got a got a physical because for some reason When games get physicals everybody starts to look at the sequels and they want them in box our pre sequel prequels and box and all that stuff So this is my part of my blaster master collection. So this game pretty much I think has its own story um, Kind of like kind of like the first one. I think it's like a I don't know if it's canon But I think I think it kind of is I'm not really sure about that. Maybe some of you guys know in the comments But it is story driven It's a different story from the first game thankfully and um, it looks like it plays really well. So I'm really, very excited to have this in the collection. Very uncommon game now. I mean, you can find the um, uh, this loose cart for it uh, easy, but um, um, just finding it in boxes is, uh, is pretty, is pretty could be expensive and kind of uncommon. 
And also, someone that actually hooked me up with the, the cart for it, man. So um, I want to say, hey, appreciate you, bro. I know you don't want me to say your name on here, but uh, thanks for hooking that up, man. appreciate you. The next game here, uh, Aliens, Thanos, uh, Encounter. Uh, this is a... I'm going to say this is... I'm just going to call this, since it's Aliens, I'm going to call it Survival Horror. I haven't even played this one yet, but it looks pretty good. Uh, I ha had had a lot of detail from the video I saw of it. The reason I found out about this game was because my buddy Evan uh, talked about it. So, Evan, uh, thanks for letting me know about this game, brother. I appreciate you, man. I'm happy I have it in the collection. And unfortunately, no, not the 999. 999 is not what I paid for it. I had to pay a little more. All right. Next here. Um, weird game, but a lot of people don't know this exists on the uh, PS4. Uh, this is The Binding of Isaac, Rebirth for the PS4. Uh, Binding of Isaac, I was playing this game. It's a fun game, but man, the story religion about the mother and, and how she heard a voice and gosh, that stuff just weirds me out, man. You guys know what I'm talking about, but other than that, it's a solid game. Uh, kind of like a gallery adventure game. I kind of, well, not really. It's, it plays like a Zelda. It plays like a dungeon crawler, but like on a level of Zelda in a way, that makes any sense. So if you like Zelda games, you'll definitely like this um, for the dungeon part, at least. Uh, Binding of Isaac. <laughs> Uh, this is what I would call a hidden gem for first-person shooters. Uh, I know this game is probably popular with a lot of other people who played it on PC, but uh, when it came out on the on the consoles, I was I fell in love. This is Crisis and Crisis Two. These games are amazing, guys. You must if you haven't played Crisis, man. I can't believe this game hasn't. It's not. It's not that even that popular from what I've seen. This game is amazing, guys. You must play Crisis. Um, it, this game is badass. That's all I can say. Uh, I wish they would have made a physical for the first one on the uh, place PSN. I mean, it's downloadable on there, but I just wish I would have had a physical for it. But anyways, you can do a lot of stuff in this game. Pretty amazing. Um, yeah, and, and you can pick it up cheap. This game goes for like five bucks each, both for part two and three. So easy to, to uh, uh, definitely affordable is what I'm trying to say. Next game here, I got a GameStop, about $5. That's a power punch. I don't know too much about it. Sorry about that glare again. But um, looks like a fun game to play. All right, so I'm down to my last two. All right, and these are kind of like sequel prequels to each other. Uh, back in 2008, uh, I played a game. Uh, well, I was I was into a lot of PC gaming, and what happened was I, I stumbled across. Um, well, actually, it was a couple. It was I think, I think it was like 2005. I got I started to get into uh, uh, point and click games on PC. I got the longest journey. And I played the hell out of that game and loved it. And ever since, well, before that, I played Point and Click too, but I got back into them during that time. And a few years later, I came across this game. This is hilarious. This is a, this is a funny ass game. It's called So Blonde. And So Blonde is about a girl who, she's on a cruise with her family and friends, and she gets knocked into the water from some accident. She ends up on this desert island and with all these weird people. And I don't want to give away too much because this game is pretty funny, but. This is probably one of the funniest uh, point-and-click games I've ever, ever played. It actually cracks me up with some of the dialogue they say in this game. So, so Blonde, definitely something you want to check out. Uh, if some of you have actually played the game, uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your stories about it. But the reason I remembered the game was because I went to my local game store, Super Smash Games, and they had um, this game called Captain Morgan. And I said, I looked at Captain Morgan and I said, wow, some of these characters look familiar on this kind of, I think. And next thing you know, I found out this is a prequel to So Blonde. So I definitely picked it up and then uh, made me go back and pick this one up. So definitely uh, happy to have that both of these in the collection. Uh, I was playing So Blonde the other day in this game. I'm going to tell you guys, this is totally worth having. You, you will love this game if you like point and click type games. Uh, very funny, lots of dialogue. It just kind of takes me back to a time where... Um, where developers could be very creative with the games they put out. You know, they weren't really rushed. You know, they got to do what they wanted with the games, and they put out a great product. Nowadays, you, 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 it's hard to get that these days because a lot of these times, and I know I say this in most of my, my videos, but when developers, they have to push stuff out by a certain date, and it might not be on the level they want it to be or whatever, and next thing you know, you have a subpar product. People don't buy it. Uh, company or maybe the people break even or whatever with money, and then next thing you know, they close down their studio or whatever. It's it's pretty crazy. That's why I can always go back to those the, the other previous generations, and then you can just see a lot more. I mean, just a lot of the games they were putting out back then were just I don't know, just had a lot of love in them. Is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, guys, uh, that that's my pickups. Uh, 
uh, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Radical Reggie, and I will see you later.